Welcome to the first ever Bike Salon web tutorial. I am your host, Lauren Larkin, and today we are going to talk about the stuff you bring when you want to not just go around the corner on your bike, but you want to rely on your bike as a valid form of transportation that can get you from point A to your destination punctually and safely. The very first number one thing that you need is a helmet. Your helmet protects your head. So if you are to get into a collision of any kind, then you want to not be hitting your head against the pavement, a tree, or a vehicle, or another bike. You want your helmet to hit that. Your helmet will crack, your head will not, you will arrive safely, and you will be able to think. The second thing is a lock. If you're not just going around the corner, you're going to need a lock. You're going to need keys to that lock and keys to your house, just like any other time you would leave. Now that lock that I showed you is not going to work so well in Brooklyn or in Oakland, but it works just great here in San Diego. It will work great in Buena Vista, Colorado. I'll show you how to properly lock your bike. Then I need to have everything with me in case anything goes wrong. So I bring form of ID, a couple dollars, contacts. Just in case my contact falls out, I, my vision will not be impaired and I'll be able to ride safely. I have allergy medicine because I get weird allergies sometimes. Don't want that to distract me. Sunscreen. Because your skin is your largest organ and it's important to stay hydrated with a water bottle while you're riding. Okay, so now it gets to the fun part, the bike stuff. You want to make sure that you have what you need to make a quick roadside repair. And the easiest way for bike shops to take advantage of especially new bikers is to charge them an arm and a leg in order to fix a flat. When fixing a flat, it's super easy. All you need is an extra tube, an extra tube that fits your bike. How do you know what size tube you need to fix your bike? Well, it's right on the side of your tire. It says the tube. It also says how much you should inflate your tire to. You need a pump, a pump that pumps both Schrader and Presta. If your pump only pumps one kind of tube, then your friend might be left in a situation where you have a pump but you can't pump their tire. So if your pump only pumps one kind, then get an adapter so that it can pump both. These are the secret ingredients to pretty much every bike repair. We've got a sliding wrench because you might need to take off your wheel or your friend's wheel if they don't have quick release. We've got tire levers. Tire levers are what you use to take off the tire so that you can fix the tube inside. A multi-tool. This has all kinds of really fun hex wrenches on it and screwdrivers and it comes in handy for so many things I can't even begin to list it right now. And a patch kit. A patch kit is going to give you what you need to replace a tube and let's just say that you replace one tube and you went over some glass and you popped both tires then you're going to want to patch one and replace the other and we're going to go over how to do that tomorrow thank you for listening so a big shout out to rachel simmons founder of girls leadership institute who made a great video blog called real girl tip number eight getting out of your comfort zone that really inspired me to make this video, even though I've been procrastinating because I've been nervous about the quality um, of being able to make something by myself, but I'm just going to keep trying to do it. And I also wanted to thank Jen Redford, who's the manager over at the Westwood Farmer's Market, because um, she asked me to make a video about how to fix a flat. And tomorrow you're going to learn how to fix a flat. So tune in. Thanks.